it's time to stop making PC build mistakes. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about your PC builds and how to fix them. Now, if you want to be featured on my next Boost My Build video, you got to follow the instructions that I'm going to leave in the comment section. Now, this is not my video idea. This is PC Builder's YouTube channel video idea. So go follow him. He will have all of the PC builds featured on this video boosted down below in the description as well for you to see the exact components in case you also want to build yourself a gaming PC. And I will leave also pre-built PCs for every single budget in case you're looking to buy a pre-built PC instead. With that being said, let's start. And we're going to go ahead with the first subscriber. He sent me his PC power picker list and told me that he wants his PC for gaming 4440p high FPS, 4 games like Valorant, Warzone, Battlefield, Halo Infinite, GTA and God of War. Then he also told me that he wants mostly black with slight RGB if possible. His budget is between 1500 to 1700 bucks, preferably closer to 1500. He can decide between the RTX 3080 12 gigs or the RX 6800 XT and he also can't decide between the 5800X and the i5 126K. He also prefers the system to be future proof for AAA titles and water cooled. So let's see his PC power picker list. So there are a couple things that I don't like about this PC build in particular, especially because you want to play high demanding video games as well and you want it to be future proof for upcoming AAA titles. So let's go ahead through your components. You pick the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X and you said that you were deciding between this one and the i5 12600K and in my mind there's no doubt the i5 12600K is the best option between these two. It's going to be better for gaming, multitasking and also content creation and on top of that it's more future proof considering that you can go with DDR5 in the future without having to change the CPU as well and you can put the new Raptor Lake 13th gen of Intel coming really really soon. Then you pick the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML 240 millimeters all-in-one liquid cooler. This is not a bad CPU cooler, but at 90 bucks, I think that we can do a bit better for less price and save that money for performance and future proofing. Now, the motherboard is not bad, but again, I prefer the i5 12600K, so we might have to change that as well. The RAM is decent. You wanted some RGB, so nothing wrong with the RAM. But anyway, I think we can save around 10 bucks. But if you want to go for this RAM, go for it. It's going to be totally fine. Now, for the storage, you made a major mistake in my opinion you put two terabytes of hard drive and one terabyte of ssd now i know why you did this you wanted more storage and you didn't want to spend a lot which i get it but this is not something that pc builders do anymore because it's not going to give you any advantage and i think that hard drives are starting to bottleneck high-end computers of course if you're going for a 400 dollars pc hard drive is still a good option but for a $1,600 system, we want to go only SSD. And then for the graphics card, you pick the RX 6800 XT. You were deciding between this one and the RTX 3080 12 gig version. The 3080, in my opinion, it's a better option because you get the NVIDIA technologies and you also get the NVIDIA encoder for content creation. And that's a nice feature to have, but also it's going to be better for ray tracing. You have DLSS, but considering that you don't want to go Above $1,700, I don't think the RX 6800 XT is a bad option. And you also want to do 1440p gaming. So I think even if you go with the 6800 XT, it's going to be a great 1440p gaming graphics card. For the price, the 6800 XT is going to get it done without any issue, especially at that resolution. Then for the case, you pick the Corsair 4000D Airflow, but you have to consider here that it doesn't come with a lot of fans and with this type of components, you will need those fans. So I won't recommend the 4000D Airflow without any extra fans. And then for the power supply, you pick the Corsair 850 Watt 80 Plus Core Power Supply. This is an A tier rated power supply. This is a great one, but you get 850 Watt. And considering that you want something that's future proof, trust me, next gen GPUs are really power hungry and you're looking to get at least a thousand watt power supply. I believe 850 is enough for this build without a doubt and for some upgrades as well. But if you want to make a huge jump from the GPU to the next gen, let's say 4000 series or even 5000, you will need a bigger power supply. So let's see how I boosted your build. For the CPU, like I said, I went with the i5 12600K. It's only around $8 more expensive than the Ryzen 7 5800X. And in terms of performance, it's going to be 
much better than the 5800X. And then I picked the NRMAX liquid 240 all-in-one liquid cooler. This one is cheaper, around $20 cheaper than the one that you picked. And it's definitely going to get the job done for the CPU. Then for the motherboard, I picked the ASRock 3690 Steel Legend Y5 6E ATX motherboard. This one is 185 bucks and it has great features such as Wi-Fi, but you also get a bunch of M.2 slots, which are going to be helpful if you want to buy a new SSD in the future. Then for the RAM, I picked the Team Group T Force Delta RGB 32 gigs of RAM 2x16. This one is really similar to the one that you picked for $10 less. But like I said, if you want to go for the other one, it's totally fine without a problem. Now, I gotta say that for gaming, 16 gigs of RAM is enough, even at 440p. But if you want to start streaming and be more comfortable with the RAM, and maybe in the future you want to do content creation, I think 32 gigs is the way to go. But if you want to save up some money, keep in mind that 16 gigs will do it anyway. For the storage, I picked the Kingston NB2 2TB of Gen 4 SSD. This one for the price, I think it's a no brainer, 140 bucks. And like I said before, you don't want to go for a hard drive and an SSD. Here you're getting two terabytes of storage, which is more than enough, especially for gaming only. And you get Gen 4 SSD, which won't make a difference for gaming. But once again, in the future, you may need Gen 4 and it might make a difference. Remember, we are making this PC for the future also just like you said. Then for the graphics card, I picked the 6800 XT, but a different version, the Gigabyte one. This one is cheaper and it's going to give you the same exact performance. And on top of that, you're saving around 50 bucks, which is nice. Then for the case, I picked the Thermaltake B250 TG ARGB ATX case. This one has a front mesh panel as well. The airflow overall is going to be great. Now, if you want to go for the 4000D airflow, that's totally fine and it's going to be more expensive than this one and 94 bucks with all of the fans included. Now, I know you said you wanted a slight RGB, which is totally fine. You can turn off the RGB from their software. So don't worry about the RGB. This is something that you can turn off. And I find it better that you have an ARGB case because maybe in the future you like the RGB and you decide to turn it on. So it's a nice to have in my opinion. And then for the power supply, I picked the Fantex AMP 1080 plus gold power supply like I said, if you want future proof, you're looking to get at least a thousand watt 80 plus cold power supply. This one is an A tier rated power supply as well. So you are not risking your components at all. It's really good quality and the price is not that different from the one that you picked. So the total price is $1,616. We saved you around 15 bucks. It's not a lot of money that we saved you, but we got you much better performance. And most importantly, we got you something that's more future proof than the one that you have. Now at this price point, you may wanna wait a bit more to see how prices are going to be when Black Friday arrives. I'm going to have a bunch of videos about Black Friday. And by that time, we are going to have more GPUs in the market. So maybe the ones that we have right now are going to be cheaper. So that's what I recommend you doing. But if you wanna buy a PC right now, you don't wanna wait anymore. I completely understand. This PC is going to be way more than enough for 1440p. And trust me, you are going to enjoy the gaming experience without a doubt. With the second subscriber, we have Matthews. He says, hey man, I love your videos. Sorry, I didn't ask the specifications last time. Don't worry about it. Thank you for the compliment and for your support. Then he sent me the PC build and told me he wants a black and RGB PC build for gaming and maybe content creation for 1440p slash 4K. So we're going to boost this PC for 4K. And he told me some specifications that he would like to include because he likes these components like the RTX 3070, the Asus X570 motherboard, the NCXT Kraken X73 and the Ryzen 750-800X. He also told me you can modify this, feel free to do it, love your videos, thanks once again. And then he told me I hope the 3000 series will get cheaper because of the release of the 4000 series. We all hope that and I think that they will but I'm not too sure about it and do not take my word for it because it doesn't depend on what I say but I think that they are going to be at least slightly cheaper but we will see about that. Now there are a few things that I've noticed about your PC build. The first one is that you don't need that many case fans considering that you pick the CPU cooler. So in total you're putting 9 fans which is a lot. You don't want to do this trust me. It's going to generate more problems than solutions to your airflow and i know that you said that you wanted to keep some of the components but basically every component that you want to pick is going to hold you back from better performance especially at 4k you want to have the rtx 3070 which is not ideal for 4k 
he can do some 4k gaming but it's not going to be the best option and for $1,800, I think that we can do so much better than this PC build. We're going to see that in a second. But before, I want to talk about the specifications. You pick the Ryzen 7 5800X. Once again, the i5 12600K, I think it's a much better option. And you also said that you wanted to do some content creation as well. So the 12600K is definitely, without a doubt, a much better option than the Ryzen 7. Then you also wanted to keep the NCXC Kraken X73. I think that it's a totally overkill for this type of build. If we were talking about the i9 12900K or the new Ryzen 9 7900X, then it's a totally different story. But a 360 only one liquid cooler for the CPU or for the i5 12600K, it's a totally overkill and you will be overspending your money, especially because it's NCXT and their coolers are really expensive and I think that we can do so much cheaper for this type of CPU. Then you pick the Asus Tough Gaming X570 Pro. Again, you said you wanted to keep this, but if we're going to change to Intel, we have to use a different platform. Then you picked 64 gigs of RAM. Once again, it's an overkill for gaming, but if you wanna do content creation, then go ahead, 64 gigs is not a bad option. Trust me, when it comes to content creation, you are going to benefit from 64 gigs. Anything more than that, I think it's an overkill even for content creation, unless you are a professional. But I think 64 gigs is the sweet spot for content creation. Then you pick the Samsung 970 Evo Plus 1TB of Gen 3 SSD. This is a really fast SSD and for gaming will be enough. But once again, you said content creation and if you want to do content creation and gaming, you may want to consider go for 2TB also with Gen 4 SSD, but that is not a must. Of course, Gen 3 is fast, but you're looking to get at least a terabyte and a half for your needs. Then the RTX 3070 for 590 bucks. Once again, I think that for 4K, you don't want to get the RTX 3070. You're looking to get something better. And for your budget, I think that we can do that. Then for the case and the case fans, you pick the Fractal Design Meshify 2. I love this case, don't get me wrong, but 140 is too expensive. And considering that you are putting like five extra fans for $16 each, I think that is not going to be the best option and we can save you some money in this regard and spend it on better performance. Now let's boost your build. So this is a boosted build. I gotta say first, it's 1985 bucks. So it's almost $200 more expensive than the one that you picked. But don't worry, I will explain on how to make this PC cheaper without losing much performance. But since you told me that your budget is up to 2000, I maxed out your budget because you wanted to do 4K gaming and content creation. But of course, you can get something that's cheaper and it's going to perform as great. So for the CPU, I picked the i5 12600K. Like I said before, a much better option than the Ryzen 7, especially for future proofing. Then for the CPU cooler, I picked the NCXT Kraken X63. This is a 240 only one liquid cooler. Once again, more than enough for your CPU. And I even think that 132 bucks for this CPU cooler, it's a lot. But since you wanted NCXT and you wanted to keep that cooler, I picked really similar aesthetics. But I will tell you, if you want something cheaper, definitely downgrade the CPU. Then for the motherboard, I picked the same one as in the last PC build, the ASRock C690 Steel Legend Wi-Fi ATX motherboard. I'm not going to talk about their specifications again, but it's a really good pickup. Then for the memory, I picked the Corsair 64 gigs of RAM 2x32 DDR4 3600 MHz CL18 memory. It's literally $10 cheaper and it's the same exact performance, even from the same brand. Then for the SSD, I picked 2 terabyte of Gen 4 SSD, the Western Digital Black SN770. Like I said, for content creation, Gen 4 is going to make a difference. And if you want to do 4K gaming with heavy games, is definitely going to make sense going with two terabytes instead of one. And most importantly, for the GPU, I picked the RTX 3080 12 gig version. This will be enough for 4K gaming and content creation, of course. So it's a faster GPU overall, of course, because it's the 3080. In my opinion, it's one of the best GPUs on the market if you can afford it. Then for the case, I picked the Lian Li Lankul 215. ATX mid tower case. This one has a from edge panel, excellent airflow, and it already comes with two pre installed fans. I picked another one from Lian Li for the exhaust fan. So you get two fans on the 240 all in one liquid cooler that you are going to put on the top, and then you get two bigger fans on the front, and then the 120 millimeter fan on the back. Excellent airflow structure. You won't have any issues with your temperatures for this PC. 
And then for the power supply, just like the last one, I picked the Fantex AMP 1000W 80 plus cable power supply for future upgrade ability. Now, like I said, it's $200 more expensive than the one that you showed me. If you want to max out your budget, I would go with this one most definitely. But if you want to keep your same exact price, basically, for $1,791, it's literally the same price that you sent me. I recommend you getting the Enermax 240 only in one liquid cooler for 70 bucks. Then I recommend you downgrading the RAM to 32 gigs of RAM for the Team Group T4 Delta RGP. Again, for gaming, you won't notice a single difference. And then I picked the Kingston 2TB of Gen 4 SSD like the last PC instead of the Western Digital Black for around $40 cheaper. So the price will be the same and the performance, trust me, you won't notice a difference between this one and the last one so you can save up some money. But if you want more quality components and more RAM, you're looking to spend those extra 200 bucks. And don't worry about it, I will leave these downgrades in the description as well with the main boosted PC build. And if you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly, hit that bell button so you get notified not only when I upload YouTube videos, but also when I upload YouTube posts around new deals coming into the market. So it's really important if you want to get notified for the best prices for you to click that bell button. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I will see you on the next one.